Now, most of us know that the orbit of the Earth is just in the right place. If it was slightly closer to the Sun, it would be too hot for life to exist. If it was just slightly further away from the Sun, it would be too cold for life to exist. And we know that by looking at Mars and seeing that actually life, if it did develop at a very primitive level, didn't go forward in the way that life on Earth has. Now, that's a, a circumstance. It means that uh, the orbit of the Earth is just right, as Goldilocks would have said, uh, for life to develop. But when you look at the universe as a whole, you see um, embedded in the laws themselves this Goldilocks enigma, as Paul Davis says. The fact that the universe is just right for the development of intelligent life. Uh, and it's not just right, it's extraordinarily just right. One of the things about cosmic fine-tuning is not just that it's fine-tuned, but it's fine-tuned to the most extraordinary degree. And as you look around, for instance, in the energy levels of carbon or oxygen, which make possible uh, the fact that there's lots of carbon in the universe, and that's important for us because we're made of the stuff, or in uh, the balances in the early universe embedded in the physical constants, there is an extraordinary fine-tuning which makes possible life. And for many of us, whether we have religious faith or not, this um, raises a question of what is going on. Is there a deeper story to the universe? Or is there an explanation for this cosmic fine-tuning?